I always late. Uh, welcome, good afternoon, and um, welcome back to Ramsey in 10. Hope you had a great week. First off, let's say a big special thank you to the NHS. Uh, incredible work. It's been a tough week. Um, there have been several restrictions lifted, so we can relax a little, but just stay smart, stay alert, and be very clever. Right, steak and potatoes in 10 minutes. Um, Tills, we have done a few of these in 10 minutes, right? Yeah, you've done one in 10 minutes. Thanks for the confidence, kid. That's, uh, that's not very nice, is that? Let me introduce you to the team. Uh, the DOP, the Director of Photography, she is back by popular demand. The curls have gone, and the straight hair is there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give, me a, give me a little bit more than that. <laughs> did you wish your big sister happy birthday this morning? I did. Did you wish your what? 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 <laughs> Kid, have you been on the old juice? What have you been drinking? Water. What? Water. <laughs> so clear you say that without the braces in. Uh, what did you get her for her birthday? What did you get her for her birthday? I got her a nice wallet. What did you get her? <laughs> oh gosh, wallet. Was that one of the wallets you got for Christmas from mum and dad? Oh, I just what I got her. <laughs> oh, she's watching. You she's not watching. She's in the pub. Oh no, she's not in the pub. <laughs> I've not opened yet. <laughs> right, let's find out where my sous chef is, uh, the little man himself. He's always around and about. Uh, let's have a look. And there, he's camping. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me, Oscar. Is that it, kid? Anything else? No? 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 Oscar? Oh, well. Right, I said, <laughs> I said dinner in 10, and I promised that means steak and potatoes. But this is not, not the average steak and potatoes. This is an amazing steak and potatoes in 10 minutes. Slow down, um, you're talking. All right, I'll slow down. This is an amazing steak and potatoes. <laughs> Come on, Tills, get it going. Right, let's go. Wakey, wakey. Right, first off, get your gas on. Okay, I've got a griddle pan. Pan down, pan down. Pan down, Meg. I'm I can't, Tilly. Yeah, you're Tilly, okay. Pan down, Tilly, pan down. No, to the bars. But it's on. Okay, there you go. So this is a grill, okay? I'm gonna cook the steak on there. Non-stick pan, I'm gonna do that with the sodium potatoes. So I've got leftover uh, potatoes, I'll show you that in a minute. Get the gas on nice and high. We're gonna take this steak to rare, okay? And then we're gonna let it rest, it goes to medium rare, and then we're gonna put the most amazing chimichurri. Right, Tills, wakey, wakey. Two, excuse me, pan over, pan down. Ingredients, start off chimichurri. We're gonna go with some crushed garlic. Some beautiful um, spirions, stroke scallions. And then from there, red wine vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, and some honey. A lot of people in the chimichurri put sugar. I don't want to see sugar in that. The honey gives it a really nice, rich, velvety texture. Herbs, I've got some fresh mint, yeah? Uh, next to that, some beautiful parsley. Pan down, please, I don't have to pick it up. Oh, and then I'm next to that, I've got some beautiful, fresh basil. Lime and lemon, the zest and the juice. And that's gonna be the secret of the chimichurri. But here's the difference. We're gonna put the chimichurri on the steak so the chimichurri absorbs inside that steak and it rests at the same time. It comes off at rare. When I say off, it literally means turn the gas off at rare, but leave the steak on there. First thing, pan's nice and hot. Steak I've taken out. Touch that tills, it's room temperature. Touch it. No, I believe you, I believe you. What do you mean? It's steak, girl, no, come I on. You. So that's out of the fridge. Don't cook steak straight from the fridge, okay? A little bit of olive oil in there, and then a little touch of seasoning, both sides. If you get it marinated now at room temperature, okay, it will literally cook in no time. So, if the sirloin, New York strip, is a little bit too thick, take a rolling pin and sort of roll gently over and keep them literally, okay, nice and thin. Now, get your tongs. Once that is really nice and hot, crank up the heat, okay, from on there. Again, just a touch of oil. Pan down, pan down, please. I mean... Get that oil nice and hot. Right, watch. From there, lay the steak away from you. Tilly, lay the steak uh, away. There you go, so therefore it doesn't splash. On we go. Now, from there, take your mushrooms and your tomatoes, okay? And literally, get the tomatoes on there. Next, get your mushrooms, and from there, give them a little seasoning, okay? So look, pan down please. Pan down, pan down, pan down. Okay, steak, tomatoes, and mushrooms, okay? Lightly season them, okay? Now, here's the most important thing. We wanna take advantage of that amazing grill. It's all nice and hot, and you can cook beautifully like that. Three things working at once. Crank up the heat, take your potatoes, and slice these new potatoes, they're leftovers, okay? Nice and thin, I want crispy sauteed potatoes. You can do wedges or halves, 
I just prefer these little discs and I'll show you why. Pan down, please. Two minutes gone. Two minutes gone. Matt, are you sure? Did you start when I actually started cooking? Yeah, I started a bit after actually, you had extra time. Okay, from there, potatoes in, okay? And literally, keep them nice and flat. Now, what happens here is we get some really nice color on there. I'm only gonna turn the steak once. Really important to turn that steak once. Got one. Okay, that's fine, nice and crisp under there. <laughs> from there, a little seasoning, salt and pepper. Now, I'm going to put some onion and garlic in there, but not yet. Pan down, please. So, you may want to turn that steak now, but don't, okay? <laughs> Get underneath and just check the bar. That's all you want, okay? So, don't. And what I'm going to do is turn the mushroom. The fat's coming out of the steak and it's literally cooking the mushroom beautifully. The tomatoes are caramelizing. All that flavor's going in there as well. Now, from there, chimichurri. This is a really nice recipe. And it's so rich and delicious. First off, get your garlic, okay? Garlic in, I'm gonna crush the garlic straight in to the pestle and water, okay? From there, off. Another clove, and in again. I'm gonna go half this time there, okay? And the other half, I'm gonna go over the potatoes, okay? A touch of garlic. Now, if you haven't got the crusher, you can slice it, but the garlic over the potatoes, so good. So, so good. Now. From there, give them a little toss. Pan down, please, pan down, pan down. And then from there, a little bit of butter. Excuse me, I forgot on the butter. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> you told me we got set up. You were the one setting up. You're wasting time. Yeah, I know, but you said everything was here. You're in charge of setting up. Don't blame me. You're supposed to be my sister. Right, a small knob of butter in there. Just a touch, okay? Now, look, pan down, please. Six minutes left. Gotcha. From there, take your onion. Now this is optional, okay? But the flavor of the onions and the garlic in with those potatoes is delicious, okay? Now, steak's been on for two minutes. And from there, slice those onions up and go in over the potatoes. Roll them out, useful. Okay, the butter helps to caramelize and that beautiful flavor now. Finishing side of the table with butter is a big must. Hold a little bit of parsley back. Time to flip the steak. Check this out. Pan down, please. Look at that. Beautiful. That is the most amazing sear. Now, look at that. So beautiful. And from there, I'm gonna put a little touch of butter onto the grill now. Beautiful. Now we're moving, okay? Potatoes and garlic working, steak, tomatoes, and mushrooms all starting to happen. Now, chimichurri, crushed garlic in there. Take your mint, take your basil, and take your parsley, and roll it up nice and tightly, okay? Scrunch it up, pan nice and close, please. And don't over chop this, okay? Just chop it once. If we go through that again, it's gonna bleed. I want all that flavor inside that garlic there. Beautiful. Now, from there, I want a little bit of heat inside this chimichurri. So, I've got a chili. Oh, really? No, come on, Tills, literally. I'm not having it then. Come on, nice and fine, seeds in. Look, this is amazing. The longer you can marinate on top of that steak, the better. And we want the steak to be a really nice sort of medium rare. From there, chili's in. Now watch, two nice tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in, okay? A tablespoon of red wine vinegar, pan down, pan down, in. From there, a nice tablespoon of beautiful runny honey. <laughs> runny honey, okay? A nice touch of seasoning, and then look, you get in there. Four minutes to go. And you mix. Are you going to make it today? We are definitely going to make it today. Now, watch, pan down please, pan down. I'm grinding that up there now, and that is a beautiful flavour, okay? The chili, the garlic, the herbs are bleeding in terms of flavor. And look at it, beautiful. Now, from there, this is where it starts to go up a notch. Check the steak out, oh, okay? Oh, oh, hello, on. Hey, Oscar. look at that there now. So, from there, turn the gas off. Turn that off, pan up, please. 
That's a rare. It's going to go to medium rare, but turn off the gas. Now, take your spring onions, okay, and take the ends, which are the sort of the bits that all the chefs throw away. Now, once we get to the bright bases, okay, I want the tops of the greens thrown into the potatoes, okay, beautifully done. And I want these really nice bright pieces like this into the chimichurri, okay? And then finally... Three minutes to go. Okay, 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 madame, madame, madame. Madame, 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 madame. <laughs> Meg, happy birthday, darling. 22 years of age. Oh my goodness Woo! me. Now you're legally, you can do anything you want. You well, 21. can you 21 or 22? I thought it was 21. <laughs> Promise me. <laughs> Pan down, pan down, pan down, pan down. Now look, it needs a touch more olive oil, okay? How long left to go, please? Time? You have two minutes, 20 seconds. Okay, good. Lemon zest in there, okay? In she goes. From there, look at those potatoes. They come off now. You begun. Fresh lemon juice over the chimichurri. Pan in please, can you pan in there? I'm panned in already. And this is where it goes up a level, watch. Okay, now, that is so delicious. Come over please. I'm over. Sit that on top of the steak, okay? Yum. That is gonna continue cooking. It's gonna go from rare to medium rare. But the marinade is gonna be absolutely incredible, okay? And like I said, that honey, the flavor is out of this world. Now, take the rest of your parsley and just very quickly chop. How long have got left, please? You have got one minute and finish that seconds. with beautiful flat leaf parsley. Now, we're going to make look, it this week, Dad. We're going to, damn, I forgot my rosemary. Rosemary goes in with the steak to flavour it. I didn't forget it, I left it with a minute to go. Right, now for the exciting part. Pan down, please, pan down, come down. Say that again? Open empty plate. No, 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 right. First off, build this beautifully. Mushrooms. Okay. On. And there. I'm going to take my tomatoes. Look at those tomatoes. Come on. Seriously. Are you a bit burnt? That, are you kidding me? Look at them. They are not burnt. Stop that. And then look. They are a bit. They are not burnt. They are a bit. Time left, please. You have got 30 seconds there to go. We go. Soak the potatoes on, and then from there, I'm going to lift up this beautiful steak. Awesome. Place that on there, and then just take your chimichurri and just drizzle that lightly. And I cannot believe this, but first time in seven weeks, I'm well under. Look, you've even got 15 seconds to spare. <laughs> there you go. The most amazing steak and potatoes with a delicious, fragrant chimichurri, all in aid of Megan J. Elizabeth Ramsey's 22nd birthday. Elizabeth is my middle name. Get up my middle name. Oh, uh, time! <laughs> oh, is, that's not Megan's middle name. That's Megan J. Ramsey. I'm Matilda Elizabeth. <laughs> you think I know that after 22 years? <laughs> Happy birthday, Meg! We miss you and we love you. We love you, Meg.